Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to study about transmission media. The transmission media are located below the physical layer and uh, the transmission media are directly controlled by the physical layer. Transmission media can be broadly defined as anything that can carry information from source to destination. In data communications, the transmission medium is usually free space, metallic cable or fiber optic cable, right? And the information is usually a signal that is the result of conversion of data from another form. In telecommunications, the transmission media can be divided into two broad categories, guided and unguided. Guided media include twisted pair cable, coaxial cable, right, and fiber optic cable. Unguided media is free space. In this tutorial, we will study only about guided media and in next tutorial, we will study about unguided media. So what happens in guided media? Guided media are those uh, which uh, provide a conduit from one device to another. And uh, guided media include twisted pair cable, coaxial cable and fiber optic cable. And what happens that signal traveling along any of these media is directed and contained by the physical limits of the medium. Now, first of all, we will study about twisted pair cable. So what happens in twisted pair cable? As you can see here in this figure, a twisted pair cable consists of two conductors, normally copper, right? Each with its own plastic insulation, right? And these two are twisted together, as you can see in this figure, right? So in this uh, what happens one of the wire is used to carry signals to the receiver and the other is used only as a ground reference and what happens the receiver uses the difference between the two right and uh, what happens in addition to the signals is sent by the sender on one of the wires interference that is noise and uh, crosstalk may affect both the wires and create unwanted signals right now see what happens if these two wires are parallel then what happen right if uh, these two wires are parallel then what happen the effect of uh, unwanted signals is not the same in both wires right uh, actually what happens uh, in addition to the signal sent by the sender on one of the wires interference that is the noise and crosstalk may affect both the wires and create unwanted signals right so what happens if these two wires are parallel then the effect of these unwanted signals is not the same in both wires right because they are at different locations relative to the noise or crosstalk source right uh, here uh, what will happen one is closure and the other is farther to the uh, noise or crosstalk sources right so this result in a difference at the receiver right but uh, if we twist the pairs right if we twist uh, this uh, pair of wires then what happen a balance is maintained right now what happens by twisting the pairs a balance is maintained right see what happens suppose in one twist suppose in one twist one wire is closer to the noise source and the other is farther then what happen in the next twist the wire which was closer to the noise source it will become farther to the noise source right and the wire which was uh, farther to the noise source it will become closer to the noise source right so uh, what happens uh, this twisting makes it probable that both the wires are equally affected by the external influences like noise or crosstalk right so what does it mean it means that the receiver which calculates the difference between the two it receives no unwanted signals right the unwanted signals are mostly cancelled out right so what happens the twisting make it uh, probable that uh, both wires are equally affected by the external influences and uh, it means that the receiver which calculates the differences between the two it will receive no unwanted signals the unwanted signals are mostly cancelled out right now we, now we will study about coaxial cable or coax what happened this coax has a central core conductor of solid or a standard wire which is usually copper and it is enclosed in an insulating sheath right and uh, which uh, in turn enclosed in an outer conductor of metal foil braid or a combination of the two this uh, outer metallic wrapping serves uh, both as a shield against the noise 
and uh, as the second conductor which completes the circuit and uh, this uh, outer conductor is also enclosed in an insulating sheath right and the whole cable is protected by the plastic cover coaxial cable carries signals of uh, higher frequency ranges than those in twisted pair cable now we will study about fiber optic cable so what happen a fiber optic cable is made of glass or plastic and uh, it transmits signals in the form of light right a fiber optic cable is made of uh, glass or plastic and it transmits signals in the form of light right uh, as we know that light travels in a straight line as long as it is moving through a single uniform substance and uh, what happens if a ray of light traveling through one substance suddenly enters another substance of a different density then the ray changes its direction and uh, what happens if the angle of incidence right if the angle of incidence is uh, less than the critical angle then the ray refracts and move closer to the surface if the angle of incidence is equal to the critical angle then the light bends along the interface right and uh, what happens if uh, the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle then then the ray reflects and travels uh, again in the denser substance right now what happens in case of uh, optical fibers The optical fibers use a reflection to guide light through a channel. A glass or a plastic core is surrounded by a cladding of less dense glass or plastic, right? And uh, the difference in density of the two materials must be such that the beam of light moving through the core is reflected off the cladding material instead of being refracted into it, right?